What is up everyone? This is Damien, the Disney Hacker here. And today we are at Disneyland. If you guys are new to this channel, welcome. If you guys are already a part of the D3 Hacker family, welcome back to the ride and let's get this party started. All right, everyone, we begin our journey here in front of Sleeping Beauty's Castle here at Disneyland. How amazing is that, folks? Today, folks, we just got through experiencing a rope drop, but now it's time for me to get some breakfast. With that being said, folks, we're gonna start our journey we're gonna walk over towards Tomorrowland and try. I've heard so many good things about this amazing breakfast burrito. I put that, I just put a mobile order in for it and it just popped up right now and we're about to go pick it up. Now, if I had it before, I confess I've had it before and I wanna make sure it's not a fluke and have it again and make sure it was just as good as last time I had it. But how are you guys doing out there, D3 hackers? As you look, Walk into the entrance of Tomorrowland, you can see the Astro Orbiter right there in the distance. And we're gonna take the back route. Less congested, you can see the majestic Matterhorn bobsleds right in front of us. We're walking up on it right now. I hope you guys are having a good week, a good month, and a good year, D3 hackers. Oh, look who's in front of us. You have Peter Pan and Alice. Not Alice, I'm sorry, Wendy. Hi. How are you doing? Hi. <laughs> hey, Peter. They're so fun. They're amazing. So, that's what I love about the characters here. They just play along with you. You know, they're staying character the entire time. But, as we come up on the Galactic Grill, which is off to my right here. You can see right in front of me, you have the final Finding Nemo Submarine Voyage, which is still not open. Hopefully, it'll be opening soon, folks. They filled the, the lagoon is filled with water, so that's a good sign. So hopefully it'll be opening later this summer. But we are here at our location to pick up our breakfast burrito. There it is, folks, the Galactic Grill here at Disneyland. I'm gonna go to pick up our mobile order from window number five. But that being said, folks, stay tuned. We're going to pick up our burrito and go have a seat and try it out. All right, everyone. Now, here is my delicious breakfast burrito from the Galactic Grill here in Tomorrowland at Disneyland. As you can see, it has delicious egg. It has some hash brown inside of it and some delicious sausage. This looks so delicious. We're about to try it right now. Here we go. All right, everyone. Here is the moment of truth. We're about to try out the breakfast burrito. Here we go. Mmm, mmm. Very good. Again, that's the breakfast burrito from the Galactic Grill here at Disneyland in Tomorrowland. All right, D3 Hackers, you know what I like to do? I'd like to show you guys the experience here at the Galactic Grill here on the terrace in Tomorrowland. Here we go. All right, everyone. This is the Tomorrowland Terrace here in Tomorrowland inside of Disneyland. And we walk around here, you can see the seating area is very, very cool. You have the dance floor right there. And this ample seating right over here is really, really great. Great for people watching. You know, I just sat back there and just had my delicious breakfast burrito. But I highly recommend this area, you know, if you want to come out here and just chill in the morning, you have your morning coffee, your burrito, or pastry. That's again here at the Tomorrowland Terrace here at Disneyland. All right, D3 Hackers, before we go find a spot to discuss our review of the Galactic Grill, the breakfast burrito from the Galactic Grill here at Disneyland, I thought it would be appropriate for us to just take a nice little round trip of around Tomorrowland and just experience the atmosphere of this amazing area. As you guys know, hopefully we will, they will be getting a renovation here in Tomorrowland in the near future. Hopefully we'll hear something at the D23 convention later this year in September. But you got the alien planet right there, which is pretty good for I might do a review of the alien pizza planet. And of course, there's the iconic Space Mountain and the Star Trader. And a hopefully, hopefully they'll bring back the people mover in some form in a new renovation of Tomorrowland in the near future. I really hope they consider that, folks. Because Tomorrowland is not Tomorrowland without the people mover. I know a lot of you guys can agree with me with that. But 
to Maryland is really, really busy. Still one of the busiest areas of the park, even though they only have like a... They still have a lot of attractions here. You have Buzz Lightyear Astro Blasters, which I don't like that ride for other reasons, because I am terrible at that ride. Astro Blasters. <laughs> one of my good friends, they always destroy me in this attraction. I don't know. I just cannot... I just not, cannot play this attraction. How many of you guys are good at Astro Blasters? Comment, in, comment that in the comments below. I want to see how many of you guys are really good at Astro Blasters and what secrets you can tell me. But there's Star Tours right there to the left. And of course, there's right ahead the Astro Orbiter. With that being said, folks, let's go find a spot and chat about our experience at the Galactic Grill. All right, D3 Hackers, I found a good quiet spot over here in Tomorrowland near the entrance of Tomorrowland at Pixie Hollow, near the entrance of Tomorrowland to discuss our view of the uh, Galactic Grill. Let's talk about that awesome breakfast burrito, folks. The breakfast burrito was amazing. It was about $11 after my Dream Key discount. Had everything on it, it was really good. I'll give it a 10 out of 10, a modest 10 out of 10 for that, for something for a starter, if you haven't had anything to eat in the morning, if you're here at Disneyland and you're here for road drop. So I highly recommend that. The atmosphere is really good, folks. I mean, the atmosphere, you can see the terrace is really, really beautiful. Nice place to go people watch, especially in the morning, you know, have your coffee, your drink, and your burrito, whatever like that. A 10 out of 10. But it might get busier later during the daytime or lunchtime. So I would say 10 out of 10 for breakfast. I would say about a 7 out of 10 for lunch or something like that. So, And the overall experience, folks, for the Galactic Grill, hey, I would say an 8 out of 10. Again, that's the Galactic Grill here at Disneyland. Well, folks, there you have it. This includes this episode of my review of the Galactic Grill in Tomorrowland at Disneyland. I hope you enjoyed this episode like I did. Now, I would like to hear from you D3 Hackers. Have you guys ever had the Galactic Grill, the breakfast burrito at the Galactic Grill? If so, comment below. Let me want to like to hear your thoughts. Or have you guys had anything else from the Galactic Grill? Feel free to comment below as well. This should be fun. In the meantime, if you guys are still having your Disneyland withdrawals, feel free to check my, out my channel. We have some fun, amazing Disneyland tips and fun and amazing Disneyland adventures to get your Disney fix, Disney fix, folks. And hey, folks, if you guys really love the content of this channel and would like to contribute to this channel, feel free to contribute to my Buy Me A Coffee account at buymeacoffee.com forward slash D3 Plus. Thank you again for watching, folks. Remember, if you like this video, go ahead and feel free to share this video. More importantly, if you like me, go ahead and click the subscribe button below and become a member of the D3 Hacker family. And remember to click that notification bell as soon as I drop the latest Disneyland news. And last but not least, folks, remember to follow me on Facebook, Instagram and also on Twitter. See you guys soon.